Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Classic CC lets you add colored backdrop slides to the beginning and ending of a slideshow called Intro Screens and Ending Screens, which can optionally display an identity plate on each. To add an intro screen or ending screen, expand the Titles panel in the slideshow module. The panel is divided into two identical sections, each with a checkbox at the top. To add an intro screen, check the Intro Screen checkbox. To add an ending screen, check the Ending Screen checkbox. When you check either one, the slideshow editor briefly displays the screen. The options for each screen in the Titles panel are the same. To change the screen's color, click the Color Chip in the upper right corner of the corresponding section in the panel. Then select a new slide color from the color pop-up menu that appears and then click the X in the upper left corner of the color selector menu to apply your choice. As you apply changes to an intro or ending screen, note that the slide editor briefly shows your changes to the screen before switching back to the selected slide. To display an identity plate on an intro or ending screen, check the Add Identity Plate checkbox for the corresponding screen section in the Titles panel. Lightroom Classic CC then applies the default identity plate to the slide and shows its preview within the panel. To select a different identity plate, click the Identity Plate Preview within the associated section of the Titles panel and then select its name from the drop-down menu that appears. You can also select the Edit command from the drop-down menu to customize and save a new identity plate as was discussed in the lesson titled Adding an Identity Plate to a Slideshow earlier in this chapter. You can review this lesson if you need to review how to create and customize identity plates in Lightroom Classic CC. If you add an identity plate, you can then adjust its color and size in the corresponding screen section within the Titles panel. To change the color of a text identity plate, check the Override Color checkbox below its preview image in the Titles panel. Then click the color box to the right of the checkbox select a new color for the text from the pop-up color menu that appears, and then click the X in the upper left corner of the color menu to close it. To change the size of the selected text or graphic identity plate, use the adjacent scale slider at the bottom of the corresponding screen's panel section. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.